All right, Courtney Williams doing some good work on uh, Snatch for the Test Day, Winter Cycle, December 2014. Really fun working with Courtney. She's uh, got uh, quite, a f quite a bit of experience in these lifts, uh, enough to know that when she does certain things, she's very aware of what, what went wrong in the lifts. So not picking on Courtney on this lift at all, just like any of us when we watch our uh, watch our videos. It's just a great learning point um, of something that she does that is actually the opposite, if you will, of some of us that are the early arm bender type. I won't spend too much more time talking about hip height um, because I know that's something that we've all seen. I'll just say this. A few things that we need to look for when we get to our starting position. Barbell over the balls of the feet. Arms straight, and if I looked at Courtney from the side, I should see that her arms are completely vertical in relation to the barbell. In other words, there's no forward or aft angle. The hip height, we'll save that again for another discussion, um, but as long as you get those first few things right, barbell, balls of the feet, arms straight in a vertical, and then your shoulders slightly in front of the bar for the starting position, we're generally pretty right. So loading the quads, lower hip height, that's something that we'll work on, and we'll talk about the differences between weightlifting for the sport of weightlifting and then weightlifting for the sport of CrossFit in terms of speed versus uh, trying to get the maximal weight overhead because there is a difference in our hip height starting position, generally speaking, if we're going for more speed with with uh, really light weights. Anyway, Courtney, uh, after this lift, she knows exactly what happened, and we kind of laughed and chuckled about it because she knew it, and in a, and I, I'd seen it in a few of her other lifts. And it's actually, uh, again, it's one of these things that's just frustrating with the sport, but it's a good problem to have because it's an easy one to fix. Um, it's the opposite, if you will, of what we've seen with many of us with the early arm bend. So Courtney has a very consistent start here in terms of what she does before every lift, which I like. Um, and then once we get cranking, we'll see that her first pull, once we get up to the power position, let me get us right in the right spot. So from the hang, not too bad. Power position, not too bad. I would say Courtney for us and this is something that's hard just to fight with, is arriving at that power position at the pockets with the heels on the deck, chest coming vertical, arms straight, which is great. This is exactly what we're looking for. Maybe just a slight bend, but that's being picky. But the biggest thing that you got right now is from this extension point is the loop out. So if you guys notice, from the power position, instead of... Um, starting to sh jump, shrug, if you will, bend the elbows, keep that barbell close. Courtney actually keeps her arms straight throughout the whole time. And the effect is, at hip extension with arms straight, this is going to be a, like a big circle. So if we looked at Courtney from the side, we would see that this is a big circle, not a straight barbell path, which is what we're looking for. And this is slow and hard to get underneath, which is why we miss it. So what Courtney's got to work with on this one is when we go through the cycle here and we work on our pulls, it's to really get comfortable with at, at a very good pocket or power position with heels on the ground, arms fully extended, chest starting to come behind the bar, is from this point is to start to extend and then pull with high elbows, keep that barbell close. If we look at Courtney from a profile view when she does this perfectly, we're going to see that at this power position, and we go into the extension and the high elbow pull, that the barbell is the barbell path is going to be straighter and closer to her body, and a lot more efficient uh, pathway. That's going to allow us to get quick underneath the bar and make this lift. So what's going to be awesome, Courtney, is once we get cranking on this, we'll clean this part up, and then you'll make this lift pretty easy. And you knew it. Which is, which is awesome, so you had the awareness. But a, a good first attempt, a great learning point, and it's something that, that's good for us to all see. So nice job, Courtney. Look forward to working with you, and uh, kick ass.